Hi, welcome to the Grubler Group. Uh, one of the experiments we're interested in is to uh, study protein folding inside living cells. Now, researchers have looked at uh, protein folding in the test tube for many decades, and one of the things they've concluded from those experiments is that the protein energy landscape can be considerably modified or modulated by the protein environment. So uh, <coughs> this protein PGK, for instance, as you're seeing here, uh, inside a cell is surrounded by a high concentration of crowders, other proteins, RNAs, and so forth. And by making the protein fluorescent, putting it inside a living cell and then looking at its folding kinetics and at its stability, we can actually tell how a living cell modulates protein folding. But I'll let one of my students explain this to you in a little bit more detail. Hi, my name is Apratin, and I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of how our technique to look at protein folding inside living cells work. In order to come up with this method, we basically combined three different approaches. The first technique which we used was fluorescence microscopy, which gives us the ability to look at cells with high spatial resolution. The second technique is one we borrowed from chemical dynamics, temperature jump spectroscopy, which gives us the ability to cause rapid changes in temperature, which in turn can lead to conformational changes of proteins. And finally, to be able to observe these conformational changes of proteins, we use FRET, where we tag the ends of the protein with a donor molecule and an acceptor molecule, and a change in the distance between the ends is then monitored using fluorescence on the setup. Hi, my name is Max, and I will tell you about the experimental setup. In my hand, uh, I'm holding the sample that contains cancer cells, and the cancer cells have fluorescent proteins in them. So what I will do is I will put this sample on the heating stage that will eventually heat the sample to an equilibrium temperature, and I will put the stage inside the microscope. Fred donors inside the cells are excited with a blue LED and the temperature of the sample in the, is then jumped with a heating laser right here. We then use inverted microscope to collect the signal and split the signal into the red and green channel and project it on the detector. Hi, I'm Hannah and I'll be talking about how we analyze our images to get information about protein folding in cells. Here on the computer you can actually see the two channels of data that Max was talking about. Here we see the image from the green donor channel, and over here we see the image from the red acceptor channel. Our analysis extracts the intensity of pixels in each frame and analyzes the evolution of intensity to get information about changes of protein conformation during the temperature jump. As an example, we can look at this data. You can see here that the green intensity is rising during the temperature jump, while the red intensity is falling. This shows that the distance between the two labels is increasing and that the protein is unfolding in the cell. This video shows this process in real time. The cell gets greener as the temperature jump progresses, meaning that the ends of the protein are getting further apart and that the protein is unfolding. Hi, my name is Ming Hao. I'm going to introduce some interesting applications of this setup. We have measured the, the protein folding kinetics uh, on the submicrometer sub scale, and we have found out a distribution of the folding rates on the different part of the cell coming from the variance of the local environment. And we also studied a, a heat shock protein to see how the protein is protected at higher temperature. And the intrinsic disorder protein is another interesting area. It is unfolded in vitro, but it can be folded in a living cell. At the future application, we have developed the fluorescence diffusion microscope we can measure the diffusion constant and the protein folding kinetics from the fluctuations of the fluorescence intensity.